Hello everyone, welcome to a new series on this channel where I'm going to be posting prison tutorials, or not prison tutorials, but prison feature tutorials, like for example this video is a tutorial on how to build a keycard reader. So first what you're going to want to have is a keycard that you want, you're going to need a building block. Most people use crying obsidian. Repeaters, redstone dust, redstone torch, redstone comparator, target blocks, droppers, redstone lamps, levers, and hoppers. And you're also going to need signs to label the redstone lamps. So I'm going to start by having two redstone lamps, and I'm going to have a dropper facing one side, uh, it going into a hopper like that, and you know place the lever on the other side of the dropper. In this hopper, you're gonna want to place, well, not yet, but eventually you're gonna want to place five key cards in it. Next, you're gonna want to put a building block here with a redstone comparator on it like that. Then, two more building blocks with two redstone dust, like this. And then, go down one and have a building block with a repeater going towards the redstone lamps. And, you're going to want to have a block there with a redstone torch on top. And, lastly, you're going to want to have a target block here to the side of the redstone with a torch on top then a block on top of that, and then a torch. And this is where you're going to have your your output for your key card. And how it works is you're going to want to put your five key cards in there. And you're going to want to put one in here. Flick the lever, and before you forget, label these key card required so that people know there's a key card and controls active meaning the controls are active which this line is on the controls are active and so how it works you put a key card in there flick the lever the, this gets two signal strength so it powers this repeater and this target block so this torch gets to turn on and this will turn off the rest of the torch, allowing the hopper to go back once it's done. And it will turn on this lamp. But it will stay in the hopper because of this lever. It's powering it through the block. So conveniently, once you flick the lever, it'll come back and no other key cards from this will spill out. So that is the tutorial for how to build a key card reader in a prison. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new, and uh, I will see you in the next video, whether it's a tutorial, escape, prison, or just some random video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.